Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to build a Wi-Fi enabled switch, which you can use to turn on and off your lights or appliances wherever you are, using Arduino IoT Cloud and ESP8266. So let's get started. Here are the materials that we will use in this video. An ESP8266 module, a 5 volt single channel relay, an extension cord, an enclosure to be used to hold the components. We will also need a standoff spacer and some jumper wires. Let's begin the wiring by connecting the 5 volt relay and the ESP8266. The relay has three pins, the VCC, GND, and input. First, we will connect the VCC of the relay to the labeled 3 volt of the ESP8266. Then, connect the GND of the relay to the GND or the one that is labeled G in the ESP8266. Finally, connect the input from the relay to D3 of the ESP8266. Let's connect the extension cord to the relay. Danger alert! Make sure that your extension cord is not plugged into any power source as you may get shocked. First, I will separate the two wires and then I will cut one side of the wire. It does not matter which side of the wire you will cut. Remove a small part of the insulation to expose the wire. Then one end we will connect to the comb of the relay and on the other end we will connect it to the NO of the relay. It's time to create our web and mobile interface. By using a USB mobile charger, plug the ESP8266 into your laptop. Head over to your web browser and search for Arduino Cloud. If you do not have an account yet, you can create one for free. Since I already have an account here, I will now sign in using my credentials. Once you are logged in, the first step is to create a thing. Assign a name to your project to remember it easily. And then, we will set up the variable, device, which is your ESP8266, and network, or the Wi-Fi connection that you will use. Let's add a variable, and I will name it switch1. As for the variable type, search for switch and select. Leave the rest as is, then click add variable.
Next to setup is your device, which again is your ESP8266. It is important that you know the exact model of the ESP8266 you are using and select it in the dropdown. Hit continue, then assign a name. Then hit next, and in this part, you will be prompted for the device ID and secret key. It is important to keep this as you will need this in the next step. You can download the PDF file. I will now copy the secret key, which we will use for the next step. Next is to set up the network that you will use to connect your ESP8266. Simply put, use the Wi-Fi credentials that you use at home if you are connecting your device at home. Make sure also that your device is within range of your router or modem to get a signal. Think of it as your mobile that needs to connect to a Wi-Fi spot. Then, paste the secret key that we copied previously. Once that done, let's create our dashboard. And to do that, just click the dashboards. Click Build Dashboard. And click the pencil icon to ensure that you are in the edit mode. Let's assign a name for this dashboard. Then click Add and change to Things. Select the project that you are working on and just click Create Widgets. Your widget switch is now ready. The next step is to upload the code. Let's go back to the things, then select the project that you are working on. And then click on Sketch. Click Open Full Editor. And you should see part of the codes you will need for this project. The first thing to do here is select the board. It's the same model you use when you set up the device in the previous step. Also, make sure that your ESP8266 is connected to your computer via USB. We will need to add few lines of code here. We will not go through that step by step. All you have to do now is just delete everything here and then copy the code provided in this video link in the description and just paste it here what i always do first before uploading is to hit verify or the check icon to see for any errors in my code if everything is in order click upload the arrow right icon next to the check icon For the final step, let's download the Arduino IoT app to our phone. Then just sign in with your Arduino account. Once logged in, you will see the things you have created a while ago, and they are automatically synced from the web version. It's time to test our build.
Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please do not forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel.